Hey there, and once again, welcome to the Weeb Lounge. I am Nick, and in this character spotlight, we have an update, an update for Kilka. She finally got her six-star treatment over on JP, and you folks on Global who just got Kilka, you know she's a good character. Imagine what she gets when she has a weapon and a six-star treatment. Now, when I heard over on JP they were doing all three of the little lyrical girls, get it, giving all of them their six star treatment, I, 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 I panicked a little. I, I did because I none of my characters were like ready for that, so I went all kind of crazy getting rank gear, whatever. And as you can see, level one ninety three, rank twenty, max gear, max everything. It doesn't get much better for her except for her special equipment. I still have a little ways to go on that, but that aside. Let's go ahead and get into the skills. Skill number one, the Ice Slanch, a single target magic damage attack. Now, when she hits that six star, all these abilities are going to get a little bit more hurdy. So it was good before, that means it gets better now. So simple magic attack, it's all good. Skill number two, magic boost, magic attack power buff. And when she gets that six star, goes up a little bit more, right? It's good, it's good. EX skill, magic attack power up. We happen to have her at five stars, and we got her at six, of course. It greatly increases magic attack power. Uh, she's all about that single target nuke. Now, her union burst, Cosmo Blue Flash, a massive single target magic damage attack. Nothing flashy, nothing anything, and that's before the six star treatment. When she gets that six star treatment, it gets upgraded. And the upgrade is good. Okay, it's still simple. Still simple, but it's, it's, it's a little bit of a... It turns into the Cosmo Blue Planet. A super huge single target magic damage attack that, if you happen to get a critical strike with it, does quadruple damage. Okay, now the first time I really took her for a spin with our new six star treatment, I took her over to the Green Dragon, right? And I was like, okay, sing... Green Dragon Group, take New Year's Carol out, put Kyoka in, see what happens. And the first nuke she did, did 3.5 million. And then it went downhill from there, so I need to tweak the group. But that was a really good sign. All right, now she does have special equipment. The special equipment is the Cosmo Blue Rod. It upgrades skill number one, the Ice Lance. So if you happen to get a crit, damage is quadrupled. So her skill number one quadruples, her Union Burst quadruples. Woo, she quadrupled Quadruply, I made another new word. I'm really good at that. All right, let's take her to go farm a spear, see what she can do. And I'm pretty sure she's not going to have much of an issue here. I even got her wa walking around there. And just for the heck of it, I just hit 193, so I took a few characters to 193. I'm still working on Yori. Yoka, you are about to nuke the hell out of these things. All right, now... Kyoka, before her six star treatment, was a. She, she was a good single target magic caster, right? Good single target nuker, but nothing terribly special. You didn't really see her any strategy. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. Even, even, that's just a base attack. That's not a special attack. That's just a base attack. Well, that's so bad. You, you're going to. 200, 2000 on that. That was her skill one. The Ice Lance. I got to see this. 580,000 without any kind of buffs or anything. So you imagine when you start putting buffs and everything on her in a proper group, it hurt. And I lost my train of thought. I was about to say something, but I saw the damage and I was like, ooh, that's bad. But okay, yeah, well, she was just a regular five star. She was a good single target nuker and everything. But the six star changes the game with this character. It, be, you know, before I would say, okay, if you have Kyoka, if you have her at five star, yeah, she's an okay character. But th th there's other characters that can do a little bit better than her, right? She, she was like a. S tier, average to slightly above average DPS character for a single target magic. Well, the six star now puts her in the top tier in that regards. Okay. Now, I, we're not talking New Year's Carol. New Year's Carol's broke. That character's broke. But this character, think of her as a New Year's Carol that doesn't need to ramp up. Won't do as much damage in the long term. Okay. She won't do as much damage as New Year's Carol in the long term when the ramp up would, you know, Old Carol works out. 
but she gets her stuff like now okay she <laughs> she's an incredible nuker i'd say at least double s here and when it comes to just a single target nuke um depending on the circumstance she could be triple s here i mean but the thing is, in order to get that triple S tier, there's usually other kind of viability options and everything to go with it. And, and other than just buffing herself and nuking stuff, that's not really enough to get you to a triple S tier. Let's put it this way. She is an overall double S tier character. And when it comes to her just straight nuking a single target, that's triple S level. Okay? She's good. So... If you have her, if you, you neglected her, you kind of set her off to the side and you didn't, you know, anticipate the six star treatment. I sure as heck didn't. I didn't think all three of the little lyrical girls would get it, but here we are. And all my amulets are gone. Yep, that happened. Yeah, definitely do this. Definitely get this character. If you happen to be somebody who's poor enough not to get New Year's Carol, or your luck is so bad or whatever, well, Kyoka can suit the bill for you. Maybe not to the perfect degree. But it works. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. And I rambled on a lot before I realized I needed to say that. Yeah, I, I usually have this little formula I do and it didn't quite work out. But okay, just get this character, work on her, get her to the six star, you'll be happy. There's no other question about it. Are you going to put her in the arena? I'd like to see her in the arena. She's not rated nothing for the arena, but chances are if she gets off her nuke or whatever, whatever it is that she's targeting is probably going to rot, okay? But, yeah, keep her out of the arena, PvE only. Pretty much any place that you need a single target magic damage, you're good to go. We'll see you in the next video.